Hi everybody. Um, I have been on a shopping spree because I just needed to get out today and I had a 40% off coupon and the result of my shopping uh, at Michael's, which I wasn't really impressed with today, um, earned me a 50% off coupon. So I will save that for when I need it next. But I went to Tuesday morning today. Um, that was where my intention was. And I thought, oh, well, you know, while I'm out here, I'll just go to Michael's. So Michael's did have like 70% off all their Halloween stuff. So I uh, went crazy getting some stuff for next year. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. I got these two. All right. So. But I was all organized here. Anyway. So this is a mixture of Michael's and Hobby Lobby. No, not Hobby Lobby. Michael's. <laughs> so the first thing I got, uh, I went to Tuesday morning. And they had these die cuts stamped for stamps. And uh, you can see them. Can you see them? There's a witch's hat and pumpkin and leaf and grass, another pumpkin, another leaf and a key cat. So that'll come in handy for next year. I, I, you know, I have the circuit now or the cricket and I could probably do these all online, but you know what? I was like, I need stuff for my other cuddle bug. So anyway, that's what I got there. And then I got these, I think I got. <laughs> They're so cute. I got at, uh, I believe it was Michael's um, in their 70% off stuff. Little spiders and spider webs. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I should readjust this. How's that? I don't know if you can see it. Let me move it back a little bit. So, yeah, let's see here. See. Aren't they cute? The little spider webs. They're kind of jelly. The spider webs are kind of poofy, puffy. And then um, you got these green and black spiders. And I'll use all these next year. And then you got these pumpkins with Halloween stuff on them. You see them? There's like a raven, a bat, a spider, scrollies. I think they're kind of cool. And then I got the sparkly pumpkins. And then I got Happy Halloween stickers, skeleton. <laughs> He's got little googly eyes. Oh, you can see his little googly eyes. And then there's a skull. I'm going to probably fix this one. The eyes are like way up here and they should be in like in the skull area. But I'm going to worry about that till next year. And I got some ghosts. I was really disappointed with their, their Christmas selection, actually. They were still putting out their Christmas stuff. And um, Tuesday morning was playing Christmas music. And they had all their stuff out, so... Uh, I have like candy corns. I love these. I need to see these. I haven't been to a, a Michael's in forever. And I got these um, ghosts, Muslim ghosts wrapped up. And just some more ephemera. Stuff for tags, I thought, for next year. And then I got this, and I'm going to do a Halloween journal with this next year. It's got a big giant mansion, spooky mansion, and then I got the tree and the ghosts. And I've never seen these before. I mean, I, I have the gold and silver, but I wanted black. So next year for Halloween, I'll do black ones. And then there was copper, and I got gold and blue. So anyway. Um, oh, these I got at Michael's, 70% off. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's a goblin gruel. Not recommended. 
you're $1.49 and then 70% off of that. And then this one says, beware, drink at your own risk. And this one is blood and bones. We had a bunch of other ones too, but they were all broken. So thanks everybody for breaking them. <laughs> Otherwise I'd have gotten more. Um, and then I got this at uh, Tuesday morning. It's an ephemera collage kit. And it's it makes all of this stuff right here. It's got all the cool stuff back here. And, you know, I could make it all too, but, um, you know, when you're there and I'm a lazy crafter, I think. <laughs> so, therefore, I sometimes buy kits. So, and so then I found these at uh, Tuesday morning and they're like stencils. I don't know what they call them. They call them mini placemats. They're die cut cards back basically. And this one says, uh, this makes me, and it's got a smiley face, so smile. And this one is LOL. And then this one says, uh, wake up and be awesome. These will be great for a journal making. And this one says, up to no good. It looks like kind of like a, uh, uh, you put like a picture or something in there. And this one is, be silly. You probably put another picture in there. And this is just a little stencil. You could, you know, paint it, put it on colored paper. That's another thing. I went crazy buying paper because I have no holiday paper. So... And then I got this at Tuesday morning. Um, it's a rubber stamps, clean rubber stamps and stencils. Uh, you get a free stencil when you bought this. So this will be great for, um, I don't know if you can see it. Is that, is that in the frame? Yeah. So... And then it came with this stencil, Christmas tree, dove, star, cardinal, bow. I think this is the bottom of the tree. But yeah, got that today. I think that's the most I spent. I think this was like seven bucks and it was like had a white sticker on it. So I don't think I got anything off on that. But I think that was the most expensive thing I bought today. So let me put this in my Christmas box. I had to organize everything when I got home <laughs> because it was crazy. So, and then I got this at my um, Tuesday morning, um, more rubber stamps. Um, it's got like little houses, homes, and a few of the sayings are, the love of a family makes a house a home. Home is where our story begins. Home is where my family is. Life takes me in unexpected places. Love brings me home. I'm not a sappy person, but <laughs> they're, this is kind of cute. And then they, they, they colored them, so you kind of follow the colors on it if you wanted to. And this final one says, a house is made of walls and beams. A home is made of love and dreams. And yeah, I got that at Tuesday morning. And then... Um, I got this a Tuesday morning. Uh, I think this was like in their clearance. And just some more rubber stamps. Uh, fresh picked. Salt and pepper. You can see kind of see. Little pie. Strainers. Sweet moment. Stirring stuff. So that was kind of cool. And then I found some stuff. I'm starting a uh, dance journal, ballerina journal, um, soon. So I got some, these were at Michael's. So I got like that. And I think I have a dance, I don't know what I did with it. But this one is really cool. And I'm sure I could cut these out with my die cutters and whatever. And then this was on sale at Michael's. It was two forty nine. It was in their sale box. They had like a bin of stuff and just... Uh, some ephemera, 
Volume Ephemera, bingo cards, and so on and so forth. And then I got this at Tuesday morning. I got some tags. Naughty or nice. And I'll probably, you know, decorate it or whatever. Um, but that was cute. And then I got some more fall stuff for my fall decorating. These were Tuesday morning, I think. And this one is a hayride. It's kind of cool. And then I saw these at Michael's. And I thought, I'm going to get them so that I can copy them. So they're all done in the fall colors, but I'd like to do them a little brighter and brighter paper. So I'm going to kind of like take one apart and <laughs> kind of copy it. And I got like some sparkly leaves and some more fall and autumn stuff. I love this tree. I don't know if you can see it. It's really sparkly. See? Yeah. So then got the fall tin. Then I got a couple weeks ago I went thrift store shopping and I got a bunch of stamps that were in their crafting area. And I think I spent like three dollars on all of this. This one is a, a purse. And this one says and it still had the original sticker on it. This was eight dollars and I got it for like quarter. And it says, I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is a blessing, not, it's, that, blah. What I'm looking for is a blessing that's not in disguise. And then I got this one that says, sweetie pie. And just, you know, page embellishments. And then it's a couple flowers. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if my lighting's good or not. I decided to do this last minute. And then this one was Witching You. I don't know, can you see it? And then this one was it's just the measuring. It reminds me of the t uh, Tim Holtz stuff. And I have some rulers and stuff like that, so I could do a page thing. This one was a star. And then this is Shoes. High heel shoes, and this is like a little sucker. I think these were like five cents or ten cents. And another flower. So, yeah, I got those, and those will go in my stamp box. Excuse me while I toss them. I gotta get a shelf. I really, really, I'm getting too many stamps, and I don't know what I have anymore, and it's pissing me off. So, anyway, oh, <laughs> it's that Tuesday morning. We have a napkin uh, swap coming up. So I've been searching for really, really fun napkins. And I and I ordered some online and I got some. And they were like, yeah, those are cute, whatever. And then I found this. Okay, can you see it? It's a gingerbread man and his arm's broken off. And it's so snap. And it's three ply. So I thought that would be cute for the napkin swap that I'm in. And so that'll go with my napkins. And then I got some washi tape at Michael's. I've been doing a lot of blue and silvers in my stuff, so I figured washi tape would be great. I also send washi tape when I do my um, whatever. And I got these at Goodwill last a couple weeks ago. And they're just creative trims, and it comes with trim. And I got them for $0.59. Cents. And it's got some trim in it, and I guess you attach these things to them, but you don't have to. I'm not going to. But this one has got like cooking stuff. Kiss always the cook. This one says riding along in my automobile. This would be great for a uh, travel travel um, notebook when you're traveling. Then I thought of Linda, Linda Israel, with her um, peacocks. And I found this at Michael's. I don't know if you can see it. It's a uh, peacock. Let me see if I can. Peacock sticker, and it's all silk. And I think I got it at Michael's. I can't remember. Yeah, I think I got it. No, maybe this was Tuesday morning. I don't remember anymore. 
So, yeah, that's what I got. And then I found this a Tuesday morning. And these are uh, paper laces. It's paper, and it's basically just die cut paper, but you could put it over like paper. Um, crap, I thought I opened all this. Uh, let me see if I can get it open without ripping it. Come on. <laughs> ah, always, always. I thought I re reopened all of these, but. Anyway, aren't these cool? This is so cool. This one's got like just leaves and flowers on it. And so and they got a doily, a couple doilies, and then they got the, the um, gold shiny, a couple of those. And this one looks like a giant flower rose one. Of those, I got two packs of them because you know I know I'll use them. And this looks like a giant snowflake, kind of, sorta, or a flower, I guess maybe. But I'll probably use it as a snowflake. And then I found this is handmade paper, six by six handmade paper, and it's really cool. And they didn't. And this was that Tuesday morning, but I couldn't find. Um, it's really rough. It's handmade. I don't know. You can kind of tell it's rigid. Rigid, rigid, rigid. So, yeah. That'll be great for some journals that I'm making. And then, oh, this was another one at the, the thrift store. Just a little stamp. It's not very sharp, so I'm going to use some aluminum foil. This will be great for um, pocket letters and... Um, my shaker cards, what have you, that I was making. And then I got this at Tuesday morning. It's basically soft, pliable paper, it says. It feels like vellum or um, even um, uh, tissue paper. And I don't know how to open it to show you. Let's see here. I got two packs, so. I'll just open it like this because <laughs> it's going to go in a file. So, But yeah. Oh yeah, it feels kind of like tissue paper, but it's really shiny. So they got, this one has got letters all over it. This one's got numbers all over it. This one's got just like that design. I really like that. I am not a gold person. I am a silver person. So, so yeah, three sheets. So I got two of them. <laughs> and then my got some Christmas paper. I got a ton of paper. I think on the paper alone, I well this one I got it. Um, uh, I think I got it. Uh, show. Sorry, I'm moving this so you can see it better. I got this at um, Michael's. Um, but I loved it because it has like the cards and it's all sparkly. You make some cards. Really great tags. You know, it's got like wrapping paper and it's nice and thick and heavy. And then this has got like snow on it. Can, can did I miss one? Holly or mistletoe, candy canes. I love this paper. I got the smaller version in the six by six of this. So, uh, you know what I hate about this size paper is that I don't know how to fit it into a journal that I'm not destroying the paper. So. I'm going to need pointers on that because this is, I really have, don't have the really, really big paper, but I love this. It looks like a giant wreath. That'd be cool, huh? It's got like the seat sparkles. Just some more snowy paper. More snowy paper. Look at this. Ah. Can you see it? It's got like the coffee. It's got like, oh, you can do so much with this. This is great. 
you know, really look at it. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I can eat Christmas paper. Ugly sweaters and stockings. <laughs> Some more tag stuff. Oh, how cool. I am not a fan of fussy cutting, but I will be fussy cutting. You know, snowflakes. More snowy paper. Love this. Look at these snowflakes. This is just bright and shiny. Yeah. And then green snowy paper. Some printed. I don't know what those are. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, the poinsettias are awesome. And Christmas wreaths. Look at that. That's snow. See, now, again, how do you do this in a journal page without destroying the whole page? I would want the whole thing in there. So, you know, some pointers. Talk to me, people, because I have no clue. Um, ornaments. Look at this. And I, I'm going to finally make my tags with the 1 through 25 days, you know, for Christmas, up to Christmas. And I'm going to do it in a advent calendar, but I'm going to do it on tags. So I thought that'd be cool. Not that I have little baby children anymore. <laughs> so I like this. This I got at 40% off. So I think, I don't know. I think I spent, yeah, I got some ribbon to it, Michael. So this, this, and I think I spent 13 bucks at Michael. On this stuff. And then this is like freaking awesome. I got this at Tuesday morning. This is the uh, DCWV. This is the um, black, white, and gold. Oh, I just love this paper. Oh, I'm a big fan of their paper. It's got like the alphabets. Let's see if I can. Black with the gold. Black. It looks like it's painted. I love this. See, and here's another page. <laughs> do I make a big giant journal? <laughs> this size? What do I do? It just. It, I. I hate. Oh, this is nice and thick cardstock too on this. And then this has got. Uh, this has got on it. I don't know what this says. Something. Oops. <laughs> My stickles. It says something on here. I can't read it. Some more gray painted paper. Love this. Love this. Look at this. Dandelion. Those ones that you blow. It's got like little gold in it. Gold shiny. Oh, I love this paper. Love, love, love this paper. Just the light a little bit. Sorry, my paper is just my lighting really sucks. So, all right. So then this one, this one says, "You're awesome. Be happy. Enjoy every day." So I imagine I could cut, you know, or stencil or something to these. This is that. Oh, love this. Love. And then this, this would be great for travel. Look at this. Ugh. It's embossed paper. And great destinies out there for everyone. Go ahead and discover. It'd be great for a, a notebook, travel notebook. And then this has got more embossed gold in it. Look at these. Ugh. Black and white and the cream colored paper with the gold flex on it. Boss flex. I just love this paper. I think it just repeats itself now. Look at that. That's cool, huh? <laughs> I'm not a gold fan, but that's pretty cool. And I don't know what this picture is. I think this is Chicago, maybe. I think that's the Sears Tower. Whatever they're calling it now. So this would be great. 
play with that big time. Oh, look, they have, uh, you can cut out pages to put in, in the notebook. Where it's at, and like just photo areas. Pages like this, and the pier. That's cool. That's a cool picture. Sometimes I just want to take it and put it in a frame, you know? Because they're so, the paper is just beautiful. That's kind of blurry, but it looks like cherry blossoms. It's in black and white. This is all on like off white paper. And this looks like Italy. That's cool. That's cool. And then some more tags. This would be great. I guess I have to do a travel book of some sort. Not that I travel. And then, let's see. Oh, this is just, I love this one. This is that uh, paper that's got the velvet embossing on it. Yeah, I really like this. And of course I didn't open it. <laughs> I thought I did. I think I just opened one side of it. Come on. Come on, little doggy. Where's my scissors? Oh, here we go. All right. I won't open it all the way, but there's the glue. What was that? It just reminds me of that old-fashioned wallpaper. Now, this one isn't got that on there, but it's it's pretty. It's got birds and roses, and there's the black. Oh, I just keep wanting to touch it. And that doesn't have any on it, but the pink does. It seems like every other page. There's some more blue, and it just repeats from there on out. Yeah. Isn't that cool paper? That's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And then, you know, I got... Um, I guess this is another part of the note treasure notebook thing that I'm going to do. But I was flipping through it and I had to have it. It's got the letters. License plates. I've seen this paper. This is almost like it raised. It's raised on it. Who makes this? Treasures. This is made by DCWV, of course. Of course, that's why I like it. It's nice and shiny, and it's got it's raised almost on it. And then this has got the gears on it. Looks like a package. That's cool. That's okay. I'm not really too fond of that. And, oh, this has even got like the shine. It's like a, it feels like a world map. So, and then this has got raised lettering on it. Words. So, oh, I love it. Some of it is, um, the morn will never rise till she can, let's see. Bows unto the seaman star, the palm in from the sun, you know, just words. And the race lettering. Love it. Love this paper too. See, I keep saying I love it. Of course I love it. And then this has got like all the papers with the race lettering and for tags. Look at that. <sighs> Keys and locks. And it's also got the shiny raised embossed feel to it. And this is, looks like typewriter keys. And it's also raised. Yeah. Like it. And the same words in brown. It's basically a brick wall. I like it. It's alright. This is feels like leather. This feels like leather. It's got that raised embossed feeling. And then this Got this, all letters, these are also raised, embossed. I don't really do that. And this is just pretty paper. Get the rose down here. And then some 
paper. I could almost use this one for Halloween. That's pretty cool. Lots more tags to cut out. That's pretty cool. I like this. I like it a lot. Some more pattern paper. Here's some more words. Um, sentiments. Good cut out. Paint your nails. Kind of repeat ourselves. We've got numbers. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I wish that was raised. It's not. Musical notes. Yeah, we're just repeating ourselves now. So that's pretty cool. That'd be great for a travel notebook, right? And then, let's see. I got some Christmas. And I accidentally bought two of these. <laughs> and they weren't $5.99. Um, they were in, originally they were $19.99. They had them on sale for $5.99, and I think I got it for $3.99. But, uh, open this up. Come on. Sorry, I thought I had these all done. Here's the back. Merry Christmas. It's properly raised, embossed. It's almost like that embossing stuff that you do. One words. And green and white evergreen. I don't personally find this one Christmassy, but I guess you could doctor it up. Oh, look at that. Gold and black. It's got the embossing on it. That's really pretty. I never thought I'd like dark things. I'm a very feminine, like I like feminine, soft, lacy pinks and lavenders and things like that. So that's in that color right there. Oh, look at that. That's in pink. That's pink embossed. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, no, it's not pink. It's red. <laughs> It's red, red and blue. Well, this is cool. I'm looking at it the first time too. I just kind of flipped through it and said, "Oh, I like a few of the things in here." Be merry now. See, to me, this isn't Christmas, but to some of you, maybe it is. Maybe you just, you know, decorate it. And to me, this isn't Christmas either. But it's kind of cool. And gold evergreens. This one says, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This one's got cheer. Very bright. See, there's another page that I'll be like, I don't want to break this up. But like I said, I have to make a really big journal. <laughs> it's just really big, like an album size. I wish this was embossed. That's not embossed. I love the paper though, it's nice and thick. This reminds me of New Year's. Still something like this, that embossed polka dotted thing. And this isn't embossed either, but I like it. And this looks like it's got little stars on it. I'd be cool if it was in oh now this is cool. This is uh heat embossed. With your mica powder. It's got like wording in the background. Now, see, this is cool. See, this is Christmas to me. <laughs> Old fashioned Christmas, uh, vintage. And then it's all these black tags. Very cool. You have to brighten them up. See, and my problem is, is when I do tags, I'm glad they give you two pages because when I do tags, I do a front and the back and they have to match. But I guess you could put this in the back of. Some fabric and make a tag that way. That way you're not using two of one, you know, two pages. And this has got um, more embossing powder on it, heat embossed. This is all right. Reminds me of wallpaper, old fashioned wallpaper. And then this is Peace on Earth. That's pretty cool. So that's that one. Just a couple more. 
just a couple more. Let's see what do I got. And then this one is a DIY shop, and this is American. It's by American Crafts. And this looks like it's also a travel one. I don't know why I was drawn to these today. It's sticker in there of six ninety nine, but it was in their disc clearance. So got that. Oh, come on. So. I could take out my slicer, but I don't feel like reaching that far. <laughs> so, okay. So this looks, looks like a draw, um, accounting paper, lined paper. It looks like this has been stained, you know, like tea stain paper. This looks like cork. A map on it. Oh, I love that. See, and I, I've never had big paper like this, so this is like all exciting to me. <laughs> this is black. Looks like jean material. Some more of that. I think this just repeats itself now. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that's cool. It's like garment paper. That's pretty cool. Words down here. Oh, look, oh, cool. Rulers. I can use that with my towels. This is cool. First generation. This is like a, uh, what do you call that? Your history, your, I can't think of the name of it. Where you do your uh, ancestry. Green. Oh, that's neat. A music pad for somebody. It'd yeah, be cool to put like notes on it or do like music. Some paper. Okay. This looks like a street map, an aerial view of a street map river. This is Williamsburg. So this is north, northern. Something river. Looks like New York. Grid of New York. This is stars. And a map of the stars. And then green. That's cool. It's like a giant receipt. Oh, that's my ringtone. <laughs> and this is oh, this is cool. This is a giant crossword puzzle. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. I should have shut that off. Oh, God. That's cool. I like that. You could do like lettering and stuff in there. That'd be cool. Yeah. Okay, and just a couple more. And this is the um, Graphics 45. I've never had Graphics 45 paper. And, uh, I thought, what the heck? It was two ninety nine, and then I got a discount on it at, um, Tuesday morning. It's got like paper. Well, it's two sided paper at least. It's Christmassy. I like it. March. Oh, it's got like every month in it, so you can do this like in your journal, like in your planner. That's great. May. It's got postcards. More May. June. June. July. Michael? Um, July. August. September. Uh, 
Is, oh, that's cool. So it's, it's basically all the bumps. And then this is October. This would be great for the fall for the um, Halloween journal next year. That's cool. November. And of course December. It's all Christmassy. And then on the inside, what I like about this, and I didn't know about this, it's got like gift tags on one side. And then the other side it gives you um, a thing for a pillow box and gift tag templates. So that's pretty cool, huh? And then this is, um, I got this on a Tuesday morning too. Look real quick. got like stickers. These are all stickers. It just smells funky. It smells like plastic. <laughs> this. And this. And this. And I guess it just repeats itself at the end. So, oh no. Candy cane stripes. That's cool. You can make some candy canes with that. Oh, ah, fly apart. Looks like chalkboard. And then some more tags. That's what I like about these packs. Really, really like them. It's the, the, extra, the extra little goodies that they do. And this is. Um, these are just element stickers. Who made these? I forget who made these. It doesn't really say who made these. Uh, no. That's pretty cool though, huh? I keep saying everything is pretty cool, huh? Alright, one more. And then I will let you all go. If you're still here, watching it. <laughs> This is authentic kit. Key. Uh, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. It says over 100 pieces in this little pack right here. So, obviously, some great tags. Oh, it's two sided paper, too. That's awesome. I like that. Some people don't like it. I like it. Well, unless I'm doing something that, you know, ephemera or something and it's going to cover something up. I like that. That looks like a bunch of ribbon. And then, oh, little Bambi reindeer. Rudolph. Little Holly and stuff on it. That's so cute. And some Holly. Oh, the backs are different. Cool. Cool. And it's got polka dots in it. And on this side, it's got green, green snowflakes. Cool. This one says Merry Christmas and it's got like laurel wreath type thing. It's on every side. Look at that. God, this just smells so plastic. Ugh, it's making me gag. Oh, these are cute. Look at these Christmas trees. I like that. I'm getting striped on the other side. And ornaments and polka dots. Okay. Yep. Oh, and then got more tags. Sticker tags, punch out tags. They're all punch outs. Pop them out. Kind of like die cutted. I like that. I like this. This is very, very cool. Well, it looks like I'm getting ready, ready, ready. Oh. Yeah, and I got um, a bunch of buttons from, um, finally, from um, AliExpress. Actually, this didn't take too long at all. Where are you? Um, I'm not going to sit here and show you all of them because it would take forever. Maybe another video I'll show you all the ones I got. 
but it's got some real cute um, Christmassy wooden buttons and stars and kitty cats and flowers. But uh, and sheep, I got a couple sheep in there. <laughs> but mostly Christmas, I got snowflakes and stuff like that. I think I spent not even eight bucks on this bag right here. And there's hundreds in there. So anyway, everybody, thanks so much. Um, I wanted to share my, my haul because I don't get out very often. And when I do, as you can tell, I have a lot of fun. So if anybody wants to leave a comment and let me know how to work these giant pieces of paper into a journal without destroying them, I'd really appreciate it. Um, have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.